What's going on guys? I'm Fuller with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We got Dustin here. We want to do something a little bit different. So I was out scrolling through Instagram and uh, I found this super dope account. It's called Brad Builds and he makes these really awesome renders of primarily cars, but he's got some trucks in there too, some super cool wide body stuff. So I wanted to show all you guys, if you haven't seen them yet, some of them have gone pretty viral, so you may have. Uh, on top of that, housekeeping items to address. You'll notice there's no hair on my face. It's because I shaved my beard off because what is it today, Dustin? 85 out? 87 degrees today in Wisconsin. It's just too freaking hot, so it had to come off. <laughs> Super excited for that. We're returning to some normalcy here. So <laughs> away from the normal and real world, we now have the renders to go through. So we got a couple of them. We're gonna go through them kind of fast because I want to show you guys uh, a few of these and not just like do two of them and talk for 30 minutes. So first one, it's gonna be an F-150. This is like the uh, 2015, 16, 17 body style one, and it's got some massive, I don't know, eight, 10 inch over fenders and crazy wide body. It's big. Absolutely wide. The cool thing is he does like some really realistic renders. Like these tires on here look exactly like the new Nitto 420B. Everything's very realistic. Yeah, it's super cool. I love this color on this truck. And I mean, he gets super detailed even in the taillights and the reflections on the rear windows and stuff. These look photorealistic, which is crazy. Yeah, you got your quad exhaust going on. The, those back over fenders, I love how they open up. It like reminds me of the back of a, a fighter jet or something like that. Let's give it a number so we can show quite a few of these off. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, nine. Nine and a half. So hard to rate things that are rendered because that you know they're just going to be perfect. All the paint is perfect, the fitment's perfect, everything's <laughs> perfect because it's computer generated. Um, Correct. But I guess if I had to pick one thing, you know, it's a it's a regular cab, which I guess for the sport truck look, maybe that's what you want. But I think it'd be kind of cool to see this thing in a crew cab. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else I can really knock it for. It's it's low. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, this would have it's to be. It's real low. This would have to be air in the in the real world. I don't think you could do this static. I don't think anyway. Correct. Somebody somebody proved me wrong. Uh, I'll PayPal you 100 bucks. All right, let's grab the next one. So this is Ooh. a Toyota 4Runner. Uh, not your typical 4Runner. Obviously, most people would you know maybe slap a lift on or just some bigger wheels and tires. But this one, again, kind of his style, right, is, is lowered and wide bodied. So this just looks, again, it's crazy wide. It's got a massive front splitter on it. Uh, the headlight covers, you know, the retro JDM paint, which I really like that. It's kind of a cool style. I think that would even look good on a lifted one. And then if you used like some method bronze wheels or something on there. Yeah, I think it's because it's different, right? You don't see a lot of guys follow that really traditional, uh, you know, Toyota Euro style or JDM styling, excuse me, Euro Ooh, styling. Oh man, you might, you know, makes people angry with that one. Listen, the heat's getting to me, brother. <laughs> I can Photoshop some wheels on a car, but this is way beyond my skill level. This is insane. It's cra even like the, the LED dots and the taillights are, are there and yeah. the glare on the taillight is, is accurate, you know? It's amazing. Let's give this bad boy a number. Three, two, one, nine. Nine. I think the only thing I would change, literally the only thing I would change is maybe that front grille because it's just like one solid piece right now. You're gonna need some sort of airflow in there if you make this in real life. Correct. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I could really knock it for, I'd like to see some window tint on here. I think it kind of has the fishbowl look in some of the photos, but I get it, right? It, it renders in the interior, you can see it. That That's the only thing I can knock him for. On to the next one. Here's something that I hope someone does. I really do hope that this comes to life somehow. So this is a, a Tesla Roadster. <laughs> which hasn't even been officially released yet. You can put a pre-order on, but you can't actually own one. Uh, and it's got, you know, crash bars, bumpers, solar panels, some jerry cans, and meaty off-road tires. This thing is neat. It's crazy. It's got the flat black paint going on. He's got the big solar panel on the hood so it recharges the battery. This thing reminds me like super Mad Maxi, post-apocalyptic, you know? I, I wonder if anyone has ever taken a Tesla off-road because you've got like instant torque at your hands, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? But this thing's sweet. I don't know if these cars are gonna come factory on air too. I, I know most of the new Teslas do, so I'm assuming that this one does. So you might actually be able to do something like this where you can raise it up and like put big tires on it and drive it around, which would totally be something I would do. All right, let's <laughs> give this thing a number. Let's do it. Three, two, one. 10. 10. 10 and 10. <laughs> oh, we did it. It's a, it's a quarter million dollar car and we're gonna go beat it up off-road. 
I, I'm on Correct. board with this. I just like, I see this thing and I envision ripping this thing through the desert roads. In the and they're so fast. Just, yeah. Like imagine taking this thing across the salt flats, just hammer down. Yeah, absolutely. Sticking with the un unattainable and not super realistic, we've got a Lamborghini Urus uh, with a massive light bar on the roof, a, a push bar that looks like it's off of a Dodge Charger squad car, and again, some big old meaty wheels and tires. Interesting, spare tire carrier up in the back there, you see that? It's like the spare tire just goes through the back glass. It's just stuffed in there. This is another one where these things sound so good too. So just like going high speed, across the desert or through the whoops, you know, and you hypothetically, let's say we've got some King suspension under there, or some sort of long travel or mid travel, and you can use the full whatever. I'm sure this thing has 600 horsepower, mid 600s, I think, and just, just cruising. I scared you? But Sean, you walked right out the door and looked right at me. Hey, is Sean gonna be in a video? Poke your head in here and wave, Sean. Everybody wants to know where you're at. Sean, come poke your head in here so everyone can see you and make sure you're still alive. Hey, Fuller. Hey! <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> Jesus. I'm back, baby. I haven't seen you in like 70 days. Well, that happened. Uh, where were we? Oh, we need to, we need to rate the, the old Lamborghini. Yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one, ten. Nine point nine five. Oh, come on. Just give it a 10. It's I so close. I. I had to change it up. I gave the last one a 10. I couldn't give two 10s in a row. All right, I guess if, if I did have to pick one thing, if I had to reduce my score, I would pop off the big straight light bar and replace it with the big old round KC daylighters. If somebody wants to donate one of these, uh, I think we could, we could probably make something like this. Back to the old street truck trends here. We got a Ram. Uh, Fuller, why you gotta hit me in my feels like this? Yeah, you like this thing? This thing's sweet. Oh man. It's like if they if they made the SRT10 Ram again, I, I hope this is what it looks like. Got those Nitto 420Vs on there again, uh, which is their new street tire. And then he's got all these like, I, I guess I don't know if you call that red or orange accents. Rorange, a little bit of both. Rorange, I think it's, I think they're red, but it's set in a sunset in the desert setting, so. Massive rear diffuser. Uh, he's even got the trailer hitch in here. Um, oh yeah. I love the side exit or the fender exit exhaust right above the wide body. It looks like he's got uh, like whip antennas off on the left hand side of it. Ground effects package. I like how the, so the front like wide body fender then goes down into the side skirt which continues all the way back to the rear one. Let's give this thing a number. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Three, two, one, ten. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven, yeah. How can you, how can you go with anything in, it's perfect. <laughs> it is. So I have a super soft spot for the fifth gen Rams to begin with. And then to see this thing super wide with a meaty tire setup, a massive rear diffuser, really nice light. It, it checks all the boxes for me. I don't know that I could own it because I feel like you wouldn't be able to drive that a lot here because the roads in Wisconsin suck. Eh, air it up. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. <laughs> Next one. This is a cross between Charlie from Customer Service and Custom Offsets with the lifted Mini Cooper. This one, honestly, uh, obviously this is a render too, but this looks pretty doable because this, this wide body is not insane. It's like a riveted or bolted over fender. And if you swapped out some sort of truck chassis underneath this Mini and shortened it, I think you could pull this off. Yeah, you could bolt that to like an S10 frame or something and you'd have all, you know, all the right connections and everything to make it work, so. You could figure it out. We won't spend a ton of time on it because there's just one photo from the backside, but he's also got this spare tire through the window again, which although looks really cool, I don't know how practical that might be. Probably not. All right, let's rate it. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, eight. 9.75. Yeah, with the, this is the lowest one I think I might do is it's gonna be the eight there, just because, well, I only have one photo to look at, so it's really hard to, to judge. This thing's cool. I think you could have a lot of fun with this. I envision, like I know some guys that have lifted like cars around here, you know, or, or I guess off-road vehicles and they wheel them down the forestry roads up north and it's wild. Mm -hmm. So I envision doing something like that with this, you know, just wide I just open. know that, you know, from factory, the Mini Cooper is a front wheel drive. So that also ties into it, but it's a render. We don't know what's actually in it, you know, or what would maybe be Correct. in it. As far as the drivetrain goes and, and what the uh, what they're thinking when they do it but 
there's a gigantic rear pumpkin in this thing. I can yeah, see it right. hiding. I saw that. Bumper, so so. <laughs> so this, this one may be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. I would drive literally any one of these vehicles. I don't have a problem with it. So yeah, I can't say that if someone was dangling the keys in front of me, I can't say I would turn you down. So that was something new for us, rating renders. If you guys liked it, let us know in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you want to go check out Brad's Instagram, you can do that. You can find him on Instagram. It should be pretty easy. I mean, he's got a pretty big account and it's easy to spot because this is like all he does. It's super dope. And Brad, if you're watching this, we want to see some lifted stuff. If you need help with ideas, we're kind of the experts when it comes to wheel, tire, suspension. We can probably help you out. Peace.